is me. Um, and today I got a request. Please, please, please leave requests for videos down below. I am running out of ideas, and I need your guys' help. So please leave requests for videos down below in the comment section. Okay. I have the next couple videos planned out, but this one is going to be about, by the way, um, is going to be about the beginning of the RLSH and what you need to cover. This is going to be how you need to cover it, if you want. I have separate videos on a lot of these, and God, acne hates me today. <laughs> um... But if you want separate videos on how to cover it, I do have separate videos on a few of them, and the stuff I don't, you can find all over the internet. Um, and I will go into depth on how to find stuff that you might need better training for. Um, the first one I'm going to cover is parkour, because that's what I've been trained in since I was 12. Um, so, parkour, you can, you can start anywhere, alright? Like... You shouldn't be going out without proper training. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you can start parkour from any one of these. But the way I learned was wall runs, and then safety roll, and then vault. Which is not how it should be done at all. <laughs> but you know what? It worked. Um, so, how I suggest learning it, and how I taught Savior and my students that I taught parkour to, um, is I taught them the safety vault first. And then, if I felt that they were ready enough, I taught them a speed vault. And then I moved into the parkour role, which is the most important thing to learn in parkour in general, not just for the RLSH. You always need to know the safety vault if you're doing parkour, because or not the safety vault, the safety role. So please don't skip that if you're going to be going out, because it is necessary. Um. So vaults and then the and then kong vault i would teach but it's optional i recommend it because it has its uses but it is optional i also teach their wall runs the horizontal and vertical um also a tic tac which is i teach before the horizontal because it's easier um i did a video on the horizontal and vertical wall runs um, I will be linking the videos in the description. Oh god, I hate linking things in descriptions. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll be linking that in the description, but I'll be linking a shit ton of my videos in the description if you want. Um, so, oh, by the way, Mario shirt, <laughs> and just because I like Mario, deal with it. So, I got sidetracked, I am so sorry, um... The wall runs, yeah, learn them, and then I also did a video on vaults. I do recommend, if you're going to learn this stuff, don't learn it from me, unless you know me in person. Um, which, I think about 200 of you don't. <laughs> so, I recommend looking up Ronnie Street Stunts. He does a lot of great tutorials. Um, I use him to train my students every once in a while, um, if I'm having a lazy day. So, that's what I recommend doing is looking up him. I will link his channel in the description. Hmm, I hate saying those words because now I have to do it. <laughs> um, now on to combat. Combat is something you should not be learning from me from a YouTube channel. You should be learning it um, from somebody more experienced. If in person, ideally. But if you can't get an in-person teacher... There are better sources on YouTube or just the internet in general that can teach you than me. I'm a good in-person teacher. I'm okay at online teaching, which is completely opposite to how I learn, honestly. I'm, I am definitely learn better online than being taught face-to-face, -face, which is definitely weird. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I think I did a little bit. No, I didn't. All right. So, yeah, that was a mess. Um... Now, let's... Oh, well, I should go into what you should learn in combat. Never mind, before I move on. What you should learn in combat is you should study a lot of martial arts, right? But you should, unless funds allow you to, do not take lessons for more than one. Um, But if funds allow you to, definitely take lessons for more than one. But 
not a lot of people do have the money to take more than one lesson. Some people don't even have the money to take one. If you have a friend that can teach you this kind of stuff, you need to ask them. But if you do have the money, always go to a some sort of martial arts studio and take lessons. Whether it be karate. I took boxing, all right? Um for that's this is what I did personally is I studied a bunch of martial arts to put them to use and I took boxing as a base because you you should have something that you were professionally taught in but have the other things as well to you know just just to have them you know because you might need them you never know what you will and will not need until it's too late um so after you have gotten your combat down which I will not be teaching you. Uh, there are better, way better sources online to teach you this stuff. Um, I am more of what to do than to how to do it. Which, I mean, that's, I, I will do how-tos if it's something I know I can teach, like the parkour stuff, but I know that there's still better sources like Ronnie Street Stunts. Um, let's see, what else is there? There's the suit, which, oh god. I will link it in the description, hey, <laughs> what should your first suit be video, because that still holds up in my opinion. Um, now let's go into the more advanced stuff, what to do when you're actually out and about, alright? When you're out and about, this is when things get a little tricky, alright? Because you can't just expect to find crime right away. If you go out there fighting crime right away, you're just going to set yourself up for failure. Crime is not like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. As as much of a masterpiece as those movies are, their depiction of crime is not realistic. I, the most realistic depiction of crime I have seen is Spider-Man: Homecoming. Uh, I will say this a million times: that movie is fan fucking tastic, uh, um, because you're not gonna see guys robbing banks, and even then, you leave that to the fucking cops. Uh, um, <laughs> So, yeah, you just, it, you just need, what the hell, who's on my, okay. Um, <laughs> so, what's going to happen is you're going to do a lot of waiting around. You got to get, it's, you got to have patience. You need to practice patience. You need to just turn off your electronics and sit somewhere for an hour. Not a joke. I tried that, and it was boring. It's something you need to do, though. I want you to, after this video, I want you to turn off your phone, turn off your TV, turn off your Xbox or piece, piece of shit, PS4. I know, I just pissed off half my fan base. <laughs> um, turn off anything that could give you social media, because that'll keep you entertained. You need to bore yourself and sit in a room for an hour. It's super, super boring. But you need to do it. No breaks. Well, I get food. Get some food, but eat it beforehand, before you start doing this. And go to the bathroom, do all that. Oh, bathroom. That's the most important thing I can teach you ever. Ever is before you go on patrol, use the restroom for the love of God. <laughs> you do not want to cut a patrol short because you need to go to the bathroom, because if when your suit gets more complicated, it's going to be a whole ordeal to take your suit off. Because I, I had to cut my last patrol short because I forgot. See, it, it'll happen. It'll happen, but you need to just remember it, all right? You need to remember to use the bathroom. So, we've covered parkour, combat, um, not to expect crime when you're out on patrol, and bathroom. <laughs> bathroom deserves its own category because it is that important. Now, when you're out on patrol, you're not expecting crime and all that, what do you do? Litter duty. Yep. And this gets into another important part of your suit. Gloves! <laughs> I wear gloves so I don't have to touch the nasty-ass trash. And I recommend you guys do the same. Um, and, by the way, wash your suit. 
because it'll get dirty. Um, so, yeah, you need to, like, uh, I completely lost my shit. You need to go and do litter duty. I'm sorry, I'm too tired for this bullshit. Uh, <laughs> um, so do litter duty and just help out the neighborhood. If it has snowed and you don't want to pick up litter, that is the perfect time to shovel driveways. And, oh, by the way, a quick thing that I've been meaning to do, buy a little notepad and a pen. I'm sure you can find a pen there, though, so don't worry about buying a pen. Um, buy a little notepad so in case you do shovel a driveway and they're not there, you can leave a note saying, shoveled by, in my case, the warrior, and then tell them, real-life superhero. I always say, if you see me, come by, I'm friendly, but you do you. So, yeah, shoveling driveways can kill your back real fast, so don't expect to have a full patrol. Um, well, depending on what your uh, full patrol is, I used to go for an hour once a week. Now I cannot go once a week anymore due to um, personal reasons. And so I have to go, like, two times a week, two times in one week for three hours. Because I can only go once, at, like, I can go, okay, so I'm going to kind of explain my situation. I am not in the area where I can patrol uh, for three weeks, and then I am in an area where I can patrol for one week, and then three weeks, one week, three weeks, one week. So that's my situation. I, and, um, which, it, it sucks, but whatever. Um, so when I am here, I have to be patrolling twice a week for three hours to kind of make up for the time I lost. And why not three hours instead of two? So in case I can't patrol for the right amount of time like I did last time, I will have some makeup time. So I won't be cheating. Um, see, that's a good thing. Have a schedule that you stick to when patrolling. Because if you don't have a schedule you stick to, then you're not, you're going to be like, ah, I'll just go tomorrow, and then you'll never go. It's kind of, that's what happened to me a while, for a while there. Um, before, okay, my first video, and then my second video, or sorry, no, not my second video, because my first two videos were uploaded the same night. My first, d July 17th, 2017, the day I came and became the warrior. No. <laughs> um, but that into the, uh, my next group of videos was a month. That month was me saying, oh, I'll just, I'll just patrol tomorrow, oh, I'll just patrol tomorrow, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And it, or was it a month or two months? I can't remember. Whatever, I, it doesn't matter, the point still stands. However long that was, was how long I was uh, gone, pretty much. I did patrol, like, a few times, and I did actually get some action in those few times, but that's not important. Um, so... Yeah, so, first things first, parkour, because that's going to be the easiest thing to learn, because there's online in-depth tutorials, and they are easy to learn from and are really useful. Um, two, combat, which is going to be more in-depth, because you're going to you, you gonna need, that was horrible English, Ugh, okay, you're going to need a proper teacher for at least one martial art. If you can take more, take more, but if you can't, study them online in depth and yeah you're it's gonna be a lot but make sure you have a strong base in something and then three uh you need to get you don't think that crime is gonna be every five seconds but prepare for it meaning get a good suit uh four bathroom five uh what was five? i am so dumb <laughs> um Five, have a strict schedule. I completely forgot and I had to pause and think for a second. <laughs> um, so yeah, five, have a strict schedule. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There is really no set way to do an, an RLSH thing. There is ways to not do it. Um, vigilantism and 
just being dumb. Uh, Spider-Man comes to mind there. Not the Marvel comics, but the guy I made a video on. He made a complete turnaround. Um, he hasn't uploaded since his first video, but I saw that first video, and I actually think he's going to be okay now. Uh, he understood what he did wrong, and he's fixing it, and I appreciate that. So, yeah. And, oh, and one minor thing. The RLSV are a joke. Don't listen to them. Don't let them discourage you. Um, but, yeah, there's really nothing else to really say here. Um, I guess if you're an RLSH now, keep doing it. You don't really, this video isn't really for you, but if you're newer or you perhaps need just one thing from this video, I hope I helped in some way. Um, but please leave video suggestions in the comments. I beg you. I need them. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and if you only cared about the content of this video, click off now. I'm going to go on to some potential ideas that I got from another comment. But if you're a subscriber who cares about my content, then stick around because I have some questions for you all. Number one, would you guys be interested in a recap of what I have done as an RLSH? Um, just kind of some of my accomplishments, my failures, etc. Um, and question number two, would you like to see Savior again sometime? Uh, I know his first video did not go over well, um, rightfully so, that was all my fault. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see him again, uh, my schedule is not permitting, but I can try to make it happen. Um, because due to personal reasons, I don't live by him anymore, so I can't really go and see him, but I can go and every once in a while I can come on over. Let's see. There was another thing I needed to ask, but I forgot. Um. Oh yeah, just leave videos. I can't stress this enough. Leave videos. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you for watching.